walk in the South Side of your own type of kids, great to see you. <gasps> so wonderful to join with you again. <gasps> it's wonderful to be here. Man, God created. God's Spirit has always dwelt here. So God's Spirit has enabled different people to care for this man. So we pay our respects to the Yagra and the Turbal people. So their elders past, present and emerge. We want to remind ourselves of God's love for us. Matt, we do that through our prayer, don't we? So everybody up? Ready, ready? Ready. Oh, get the wriggles out. Ready? One, two, three. From the top of my head to the tips of my toes. From the lobes of my ears to the end of my nose. From my back to my front to my wiggly fingers. God loves me. Yay. We're going to be talking about some journey. Some walking by faith. So let's sing that. I walk by faith. Great singing. Now, for the next bit, you're going to need to get a rock. So go and find a rock. See, I've got a lovely rock here. So just pause the video. Go grab yourself a rock. You might want need some textures or something to write on the rock with too. So pause the video and go grab it. No, no, no. Pause. Go get yourself a rock. And when you've got the rock, Grover will be here. So you go get it and Grover will arrive. All right, Richard, that's a bit different. Yeah, we didn't call out for you today. No, I just turned up. That's right, it's exciting. Oh, 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 what's going on, what's going on? Well, I want you to think about, oh, I've got this rock. Oh, that rocks. It does rock. It's a solid good thing. Okay, that's really not good. Make sure you don't get stoned. Okay, Grover, enough of the bad jokes. Um, where might you find Rocks or pebbles. Do you know anywhere? Um, in a rockery. In a rockery. Yeah, I know they just, those Japanese gardens. Yeah, there's lots of rocks in those Japanese gardens type things. Oh, 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 um, on the ground. Yeah, we're particularly on the ground. Oh, oh, like, like around rivers. Around rivers, yeah. Oh, and do you know, you know what? You know what, Richard? I don't know what, Richard. What's my. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. 
What, what is it, Grover? Well, in some places, like in England and stuff, on their beaches they have lots of rocks. They do. That's right, Grover. Hoping you might think about that. Wouldn't be very nice to go to the beach with lots of rocks, would it? I don't think so, but that's how they have their beach. We have lovely sand. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, sand's much better than rocks. So I'm going to sit on... Ouch! Ouch! I can't sunbathe. I'm... Ouch! Okay. Grover. So, on a beach, in some places, you find stones that may have travelled a long way over many, many years. It's good. But the tides washed it around. I want you to take a rock. Can, you can have this rock, Grover. Oh, I can have this rock. Yay. And I want you to think about a place to which you would love to travel. <sighs> and you can use your pens to draw or to write. So you might write or you might draw something that reminds you of that place. Oh, I can't use my other hand to draw. No, no. So we'll just imagine. Oh, imagine. And the kids can draw while you're imagining. Well, I'm imagining. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. So a place you'd like to visit. Ah, oh, like, like a place where it's, it's sunny. Oh, that's a sunny day, is it? And, and the sun, it's, and the sunny days, they sweep the clouds away. Ah, oh. oh, and then, ah, oh, the air is sweet. Ah, oh. can you tell me? You want to go to Sesame Street? Oh, no, 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 I was thinking like Hawaii, like nice beaches and stuff. Okay. Hawaii. Oh, I'd love to go to Hawaii. Oh, hula, 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 hula. Oh, that would be good, Grover. Okay, so can you think about that place? As you hold your stone. As you hold your stone, think about that place where you'd like to. The dreams are your place. Think about it. Ah, ah. Oh, and a big blue out feast. Yeah, Highlander feasts are good, aren't they? Today's, well, this week's reading is about a man named Abram. And Abram got a call to go on a journey. Oh, to Hawaii? No, he didn't go to Hawaii. Oh, that's a disappointment. To Sesame Street? No, he didn't go to Sesame Street either. Oh, Yoronga? No, he didn't go to Yoronga. Malkavat? No. Holla Park? No. Grover? Tarragindi? No. 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 Okay. So God spoke to him. Abram, and he said, I want you to go on a journey. And if you will go where I tell you, I will give you a great land. And I will make your descendants into a great nation. And I will bless you. And through you, I will bless the world. And so you know what? Abram gathered his family, his wife, his nephew, all his flocks and sheep and cattle, tents, servants, and they started off on that journey. And as they travelled, they would stop sometimes. And they stopped at a place called the Great Tree of Moriah. And there, and what did he do there? There, Abraham felt God was with him. So he got some stones and he built an altar. And then they travelled a bit further and he got to a place called Bethel. And he felt God was with him there too. So he built another altar. And as Abraham trusted and journeyed, God led him to places. So it was customary in Abraham's time to build an altar at important places. An altar was a place where, long ago, people would sacrifice an animal as a way of saying thank you to God. We don't do that any longer, do we? Oh, no, no, it's not. We wouldn't want to have to kill animals all the time. No, no. We're nice to them now, aren't we? But we might still build stones up in a pile to mark an important place. Here's a picture of some stones near where I grew up that reminded us of one of the local explore or one of the explorers that went through the local area. Oh, wow, that, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so they built that up to remind us of what had happened. Just as Abraham took all his hopes and dreams for the future with him on his journey, from his home to a new land, building altars along the way 
So today we can build altars or cans with our own stones to remind us of our own dreams for the future. So you might want to put your stone somewhere. If you've got others in the family, build a little altar. Remind you God is with you. And then when you can go past, you can remind yourself, oh, God's here. Because as oh, yeah, Abraham would have travelled past, he would have gone, oh, that's the altar I built. Oh, and that's the altar I built. God was here. God was here. That's right. So we keep building these to remind ourselves that God is with us. Oh, and when we know God's with us, we can trust him. That's right. We're going to sing a new song, hopefully. This is called Father Abraham, and you're going to have to do some actions. We'll do right hand. Oh, I don't do right hand. I'm going to get busy. Left hand, right foot, left foot. So let's learn this song. I'm sure some of you already know it. So as Abraham was going on his journey, he was going to be a blessing to people. He took things with him, and sometimes he would share those with others. So we're going to we're going to make a blessing bag. And you can think about who you want to give those blessings to. So client, you're going to need a bag. You might want something to go in your bags, be nice. And then you could get some markers or some stickers or some pencils to design your bag. You're also going to need some cardboard, some scissors and a hole punch and some ribbon or I've got some um, thread, embroidery thread. So get your um, bag, and I'm going to grab some of these love hearts. Hopefully, yes. I'm going to put a love heart on my bag. Must be for someone I love, isn't it? Wonder who will get the bag. I'll put a red one up there. I might put a white one. Whatever designs you want on it. Then I found these roller stampers, which I thought sounded pretty cool. So hopefully, let's go like this. I can do some patterns. See how a lovely line? Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? A green one. Could do like a bit like a rainbow or something. Just make sure I'm going in the right direction. Orange, 
light but no oh, orange guy nice one guys it didn't work terribly well but and the pink one down here and some pink oh it's going out from the from the heart you can decorate however you want. I'm sure yours is going to look a lot more lovely than mine. Then, your blessing bag. Put your whatever things. So it might be, I've got some chocolates. You might. You might put in chocolates or maybe a toy or something if you're giving it to someone younger. Then get your piece of cardboard and you're going to make a little gift tag. So often a gift tag is sort of a bit like an arrow, isn't it? That's how I'm going to make my gift tag anyway. Just like that. a hole in it. So you might want to get your mum or your dad to do that for you. There we go. A hole. So then I can write, oh, got a lovely pen, that'll work better. Two. I'm not going to say who it's for. Once you've done that, you can get your ribbon or wool or embroidery. Cut a little bit off. Prick it through your hole in your tag. And you can tie it onto your bag. Handle the bag once and tie it on. Oops. So I thought that had one. So tie it on. There you go. And you can give that to someone who is special to you. There we go. Hope you had some fun. Might see you on Sunday for Sunday school, Mount Cravat and Taragindi at 8 30. If not, we'll see you again next week. Bye everyone. So as a... Uh...